A lack of substitute teachers is putting a strain on the Atlanta public school system. Many subs are retired teachers who are afraid of contracting COVID-19. Current teachers tell us there are times when they have to supervise two classes at once, posing additional problems for the school community. Fox 5's Morse Stiggs joins us live from Northeast Atlanta with the details on that. Morse. Well, when Atlanta administrators began planning for this school year, they may not have factored this one in, and that is a severe shortage of substitute teachers. But think about it. They tend to be older in their 50s or 60s and may consider that the extra cash they can earn is not worth the risk of potentially contracting COVID. If teachers are the engines that enable schools to run, then a substitute instructor may be the oil. Off camera, a sub who serves the Atlanta system, one who already has some health conditions, explains a decision she made regarding participating this school year. So when COVID came out and I knew, you know, it was going to attack the lung, it was scary to me. It was traumatizing to me. So it was like, okay, you know, I'm not going into school. And she is not alone. Those likely retired older instructors don't want to take the chance. Their absence has a ripple effect. Teachers' classes are being overcrowded because when another teacher is ill, let's say if a teacher is just regularly ill or ill with COVID, then if there's no one to substitute teach for that absent teacher, then classes are being doubled. And for obvious reasons, a crowded classroom is problematic under these conditions. Administrators are telling the teachers their first or second choices for vacations may be denied because they cannot get subs to come in. It's problematic for everybody because teachers are under extra, extra stress right now. In an interview last week, the superintendent said safety is a high priority for the entire school community, including testing twice a week. Available to all, but it's mandatory for our employees starting September 7th. But it would allow for us to know immediately if they are COVID positive. Now, the school system is telling me that so far they've been able to manage. Yes, it's a challenge. They've been able to manage the COVID crisis. A statement. We have not experienced teacher absences to the point of impacting the district's ability to provide face-to-face -face instruction. Now, regarding substitute teachers, they're offering a $500 bonus to try and lure those teachers back to the classroom. They'll get that bonus if they agree to stay for 30 consecutive days. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.